Hey everybody, David Lemon here. Welcome to the Affiliate Action Challenge Session 9. Uh, today we are finalizing this Affiliate Action Challenge. We have a couple of interesting things to talk about. So hopefully you are here, you're ready to join, you're ready to actually explore the last couple of things that you would need to know about in order to kind of finalize your learning about this affiliate, uh, affiliate marketing, affiliate marketing campaigns and things like that. So... <clears throat> We are doing two parts today, session nine and session ten. We had to couple. Uh, we have to bump them over a couple of times due to our current launch content being also uh, done. So, hopefully, you are participating in that affiliate contest. That's why we're doing this affiliate action challenge in order to activate you and hopefully get you on that leaderboard and and just make sure that you are well equipped with everything. So. What we are doing today is we are going around and we will be talking about a couple of different things. So we'll talking about we will be talking about paid ads, retargeting, organic social media uh, options, partnerships, and then we have another presentation, which will be the session ten, which we are going to be talking about. And in that session, we are talking about other paid methods. And we are talking about giveaways and contests, existing contact lists, and then that's going to be it for the last two sessions. So it's um, it's a little bit uh, slower because some of these things you'll need to explore yourself in case you would like to start doing so. I'm not going to be going in and showing you, okay, so this is how you set up a Facebook ad. This is how you set up a Google ad. There are courses, there are videos on top on that topic, and it would be a kind of a two-week session if I would do that um, in depth. So without further ado, I believe I, I believe we're ready to go and learn about everything that we have, and that is that is on the topic of, let me just exit out and start from the beginning over here, which are going to be the, the paid ads first. So before we jump into the presentation, I'm going to have a look who is here with us. So let's just see, we have Eric here, we have AR champion or ARC, or yeah, AR champion, <laughs> R champion, um, Eric here, Facebook user, Mark is here, um, Rafisa is here, or Rafisha is here, uh, Tyra, Mila, and some other people that are just joining in. So if you are watching from Facebook, I would appreciate in case you just you comment something in here because sometimes Facebook doesn't actually show up the stream and um, here the comments don't show up for me inside StreamYard. So I would appreciate if you're watching on Facebook just to comment so that I can see that you are here, that it is working well. Perfect. So. Let's just have a look. Okay, very good. I can see more and more people are joining in. So there's just one more thing that I could ask you guys. If you're enjoying the content so far, if you're enjoying this affiliate action challenge, please make sure you put uh, you click the like button or just the share button or something so that so that you show a little bit of love. I'm just doing this for you guys. There's nothing that I gain from this one, to be honest. Um, we did 10 different sessions. Most of them were two two plus hours so i hope i gave you some content i would appreciate if you just click that like button and um and show that you care and that you like this uh, action challenge perfect so let's just start from the beginning we are going to be talking about paid ads in this video, we're going to be talking about paid ads, what they are, how to use them, what uh, what kind of paid ads you could uh, you could use, and just a general overview. So we are not going to go in and set up paid ads because that takes a long time, and there are videos and courses that are going through months and months in order to showcase what are the different options. I'm just going to show you what your options are, but in case you would like to start running some paid ads, you could do that. It's not very, very hard to do that, but you would need to explore your options a little bit. So my suggestions are uh, to look on YouTube to see a little bit of... Um, of of a video videos or even maybe take a, a 
some paid courses on these topics there is lots of things that you could do lots of uh, ways to run these paid ads and that's why i'm not going to go into them in depth but what we are going to be talking about is why paid ads and then and then basically just a general overview of paid ads so let's just start here so paid ads are the easiest way to reach a lot of people in the shortest amount of time. So people say that, oh my God, I, I don't know, I cannot get traffic to my website. That's actually not true. The, today, now, it's easier than ever to have thousands of people come to your website. It's just as simple as, as clicking a couple of buttons and then sending people uh through these platforms that I'm going to show you over to your site. There are some rules that you, you need to follow, but it's easier than ever. Previously, in the old times, people were, were doing different types of marketing, but today, with a couple of clicks, you can actually have thousands of people over to your site, uh, which is just like... Poosh. So basically, if you think about it, even if you have a crappy offer, in case you have a crappy site, if you have anything, just by sending a lot of traffic to it, you can be profitable. You can be actually, you can sell things. Uh, so the kind of the, the biggest thing that you could learn in terms of marketing is how to run traffic and paid ads are one of those options. So this is why I'm not going to go in the paid traffic and, and kind of go detailed on you click here, you click there, then you do this, then you do that with the different platforms because there's so much to explore. There's so many different strategies, but I can tell you that if you learn how to run paid ads, your business will always have customers. Your business will always be making money. Um, Another benefit of paid ads is that you can laser focus your targeting. You can say, target everybody who is male living in America that has a dog, that has one child, that has a birthday coming up in a month. All of these can be one targeting. Uh, you can target specific uh, interest, target everybody that likes internet marketing, that uh, is a business owner, that is on Facebook, that is a buyer. And, and things like that. So you can laser target everybody that you want using these paid ads. And um, and that's just great because you don't have to kind of uh, throw away your money. You know who you want to show your ads to. You know who your target audience is. And those people can see your ads. So it is very, very, very cool that you can do these types of uh, targeting because otherwise it would be just like uh, throwing out a net and hopefully catching out uh, catching some some people to to bring over to your website it's like it's like fishing so you control how much to invest so if you pay more you can attract more visitors if you pay less you can attract less visitors but that's just something that is in your control in some other platforms i'm going to talk about today it's it's basically not that way. You don't have that much control. For example, if you run a uh, if you run a, a newspaper ad, for example, you don't have control in in how much people to to kind of uh, you don't have control on how many people uh, to see the ad or or how much to invest so that you target. X amount of people is just like you show up an ad and people who see it see it. People who don't see it kind of it, it went to waste. So paid ads are the best and kind of the highest converting because you have more controls, and it allows you to test and find winning ads. Even if you even if the ad that you created you're not sure if it is the kind of the high converting ad, you can test it out. So you can do one type of ad and you pay for another type of ad and both of them will be working. You can just decide which one sends you more traffic and then that could be your winning ad. But it's a constant flow of people and it's just basically seeing the numbers, seeing what converts better and just uh, doing things according to that. This is why paid ads are good because you have the control, you have the power to, to change things around and just invest money to bring more people. Uh, hopefully by now you are aware that we are doing affiliate marketing with gr promoting Groove. When you promote Groove, you get quite a lot of uh, commissions for a sale. So I've seen a lot of people doing paid ads just because it converts highly. The offer is great. The, the price is awesome. And 
you have a lot of options in in running paid ads because the money you get back is just is just more than enough uh, for this one. So this is kind of the the topic of paid ads. So paid ads could be expensive as well if uh, if you don't know what you're doing and and if you if you didn't test properly. So you need a plan for testing in order to see what works. So in case you come over to to a platform and you decide to run paid ads and you don't think that you need to taste if you think that you have a winning ad i'm just going to run that and make thousands that's that's very very rare you need to you need to know what works you need to know what doesn't work and then do more of what works and that's done by testing it so put on your analytical hat. Uh, make sure that you are not in an emotional state. Oh my God, I spent two hundred dollars and I only had one conversion. That's not how you need to run ads. You need to run ads. Okay, I ran this ad. It was this image and this converted at one percent. But I ran a different ad and this converted at twenty-seven percent. Okay, so that means that this one is not working. This one works. I'm going to do now this one. And I'm going to test it further. So don't get emotional when running paid ads because that could be a very, very bad situation for you. You could just leave when you are about to start winning. So don't get emotional. Put on your analytical hat and think about that you'll need to have a budget for testing. That's just how it works with paid ads. Never send people directly to an affiliate link. Affiliate links are kind of a no-no with paid ads. People don't like um, like these platforms don't like affiliate links because people just um, kind of use it as spam. And uh, uh, affiliate links and uh, and paid ads are very very often abused, and and just these platforms don't really like that. So always have an offer page, always have an opt-in page, and send people to that page. And this way you can also have people pixeled like tagged that they visited your page so you can promote to them later on as well but you could also grab their email address and their contact information if you send them to your your own page that you control in case you just send them over to your affiliate link you don't control that you don't have a way to actually grab all that information uh, anymore because you just forwarded them over to this affiliate link so make sure you use an opt-in page, an offer page, or a bridge page, or something like that, so that you have a way to control who comes onto your page. You can grab their email addresses, you can pixel them, and that way you actually control those people that are that are clicking on your ads. So, what are the options out there for paid ads? So, you can run social media ads like Facebook and Instagram. Twitter, LinkedIn, and TikTok. These are all social media platforms that allow you to pay so that your message gets shared on um, on, on people's uh, feeds, on people's kind of walls, or I don't know how they call it, but basically just in front of people that you target. So uh, Facebook ads um, are kind of very, very popular because a lot of people are on Facebook and, and a lot of people are in groups on Facebook. So Facebook has a lot of information about these people. They, their, their different uh, behaviors. Uh, do they, do they buy things uh, through ads? Do their, uh, what do they visit? What do they like? What do they, who do they communicate with? What languages they speak and things like that. So this is most, most often you're going to see people targeting others through Facebook and Instagram ads because it just has the most information from any other platforms that. that at, at least that's my opinion. Twitter, LinkedIn, and TikTok, these are other platforms that you could use. It depends on the on your audience, where your audience is. In case you have uh, your audiences on Twitter, running Twitter ads could could be potentially profiting for for that. I don't know if Groove audiences are, are on Twitter, uh, but you don't have to actually run for groove audiences you can run for your niche specific audiences for example politics i know that a lot of politicians and a lot of uh, politics related topics are on twitter so in case you are in that type of industry in type of niche that works with those uh, those niches or works with those people that are on on twitter for example then run twitter ads you want to come in front of your audience and paid ads will allow you to do that uh, very very fast 
LinkedIn. LinkedIn is a platform used mostly by professionals. So in case you have kind of communications with people that are, are professional businessmen or, or working in banks or, or dentists, or, or people like these that are kind of always communicating in some sort of a professional manner, looking for jobs, looking for employees. Um, if that's kind of your vibe, if that's kind of your industry or niche, then run ads on LinkedIn. If you're looking for the younger generation, the generation Z that just don't have a care in the world and you want to sell them something that you have um, that is fitting for their needs. For example, the fidget spinners were a generation Z platform and TikTok would be a perfect place to sell those types of uh, products. Um, other platforms or other niches have success on, on TikTok as well. And a lot of other people, not only Generation Z, are on TikTok. But, uh, but yeah, TikTok is a very, very good platform to run ads on if your audience is on there. I'm very confident in, that in case you're, you're selling products for elderly, TikTok is going to be a waste of time for you. But just see where your audience is, who who are you actually targeting, what your niche is, and then you could uh, use these platforms over there as well. So these were the social media platforms. I'm going to just talk a little bit more about them, but uh, search engines, uh, Google, Bing, and or basically Microsoft, uh, YouTube is a search engine and Pinterest is a search engine as well. We talked about that in an earlier session. Pinterest is a very, very good search engine for these creative niches. So search engines are based on, on things that people search for themselves. So it's keyword related. We're going to talk about that a little bit later, but these are also options for you. Community platforms like Reddit, Quora, and other niche specific forums. These are also platforms where you can run uh, run um, these paid ads and then kind of come into these uh, audiences that would listen to you. So let's just explore these a little bit more. Social media platforms. As I mentioned, these are uh, spe uh, you can target specific interests and niches. You can just type in on Facebook, on, on, on other platforms, like everybody that is interested in digital marketing, maybe that people that like Mike feel same and they basically run a business, show them an ad. And that is kind of the, the thing that people do. However, you need to know that these are uh, pay-per-view ads, okay? So that means that whenever somebody sees the ad, whenever you, somebody has, um, has it on their phone, on their device, you are paying for it. So it's not only when somebody clicks, only when somebody signs up. These are ads that somebody viewed and you're paying per view. Um, when you're running these social media ads, you need to create eye-catching or scroll-stopping creatives. That means that somebody is going along their day and they're just looking what their friends are doing on, on their uh, on their Facebook channel, on their, on their Twitter or something like that. But you need to create that stops that scrolling. You need to create something like, oh, 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 nice. Um, something that kind of catches that attention. Bright colors, very, very weird kind of looking things or maybe an image where you're showing a piece of paper where where it is it is almost almost visible on the creative uh, itself what it says or these kind of mind maps uh, where people want to kind of see it a little bit closer those are scroll stopping those are kind of eye catching people it, it grabs people's attention and they kind of stop and look at it a little bit so that um attention is kind of the, the the objective grab their attention and get them to click on it so creating interesting headlines and uh, headline and optimized description is also very important on these platforms if you're running facebook ads you probably have a big image or a big video but below that um, the call to action or something that you're actually trying to achieve with the visitors you need to have a, an interesting headline and an optimized description for that one um, you need to uh, offer value in advance. People want to get stuff and you can use that to your advantage. So give them a freebie, give them bonuses, give them gifts for doing a certain action, for clicking and signing up maybe. Uh, you could give them these, these bonuses. People, people will more than happy to do that. Get them to sign up to your email list. That's another thing that, that you could do with freebies and bonuses and gifts, as I mentioned. But it's very important that you know what others are doing and you can start 
even if you don't know where to start, you can just start by looking at what others are doing in your niche. So model what others are doing, and then you can kind of see what works. They wouldn't be doing it if it if it wouldn't work. So look for at least 10 ads on the platform that you want to promote on. If you selected, okay, LinkedIn is my platform, I'm going to see 10 LinkedIn ads and see kind of what others are doing. Then that's something that you should focus on. Uh, analyze the ads, like have a look at their creatives, have a look at their headline, have a look at their description. What are they doing? What is kind of the hook what is kind of the offer what is the uh, what is the thing that that stopped your scrolling along the way why did you actually uh pay attention for those ads create something based on theirs so don't copy but model what you saw uh that stopped you scrolling so let's just have a look at some of the ads that that show up in my feed so if i go over here to um to my account, I usually regularly save these ads just because I love them. I love ads. I really love Facebook ads. So I, I very, very regularly uh, save them. So for example, here's an ad that's, uh, that stopped me in, scroll, in scrolling. Basically, it was just a, a simple video of this one. I wanted to analyze what it said. I have a fun idea and an experiment. Experiment. It works really well, and I uh, and I evolve it. People start asking me how to do it. I teach how I'm doing it. It's nothing special, but it's kind of a something that you kind of stop to look at because you want to learn more about like what it says, what it does. So the headline is grab it for just nine dollars. Okay, but what it is, this is kind of the, the curiosity base, grab it for $9, but what it is, uh, that is in the description. So an action-oriented mini course to start offering credit in your business. I still have no clue what that means, so I would probably click on it just to explore more what it does. So that's an ad that stopped me scrolling. Let me just show you something else. Okay, so this is the same person. Um, bum, bum, bum. here's another ad this was nothing special it was an image of a guy or sorry image from a guy about about this one this was kind of something that i was looking at when i was hungry and i was like oh wow okay and i saw this a sponsored post and it has a lot of text so i kind of read through it is something that wouldn't catch my attention but the image did so i was like okay get more restaurant guests so I saw the image, I saw the headline, and I was like, oh, okay, let me see what this guy has to say. So I read through the through the post, I learned what he's doing, and then there is a call to action over here to go to in case I want to learn more. But uh, in the previous one, the image catch, uh, like caught my attention. Over here, the actual text is the main focus, but again, it didn't catch my attention. The image did. And then after the image was kind of like what's this about then i looked at the headline okay and then i looked at the description but the description was kind of vague so i i looked over here at all this text so this is what i do when i when i look at different ads what they are doing for example uh there's a great ad over here from from a company i was looking at uh it just showed up it looked like any normal ad there's promoting something but what what he was doing is he was giving away stuff and he was showing how they have all of these orders and things like that, how they took pictures about these, these creative stuff. And, and then what it actually is about is they are teaching how to create products, how to create uh, kind of cool images and things like that uh, to grab people at people's attention. Look at this, which is cool. So yeah. Analyze a couple of different ads. Would it be on Facebook? Would it be on Twitter? Would it be on LinkedIn? Any of the platforms that you're actually trying to, uh, to come in front of audiences on and then see what catches your attention. Just have a look what, what captures your attention and why. Analyze those and create something that works. Most of the social media platforms work the same way. You set up the targeting, who you want to target, set up the ad, you pay for it, and then you basically just, uh, just test. That's the gist of it. There's a lot more to it. They have a lot more functionalities, but the most basic thing is just that.
okay so these were the social media platform let's just look at the search engines over here i'm going to just make things bigger a little bit here and then we can focus on the search engines so search engines are very very good because they allow you to do certain things these are keyword based platforms and that means that people come with an intent they are already looking for something and you can come in front of audiences offering that something so the difference between social media ads and search engine ads is that uh, search engine ads are pay-per-click people are looking for something you offer them that something but they are not paying only they are not making pay you until the visitor clicks on it so it's a pay-per-click that's a ppc ad and that's happening with search engines and pay-per-view is what social media ads are it's just like you post your ads a lot of people see it and then you pay per the view not pay per the click so this makes search engines a little bit cheaper because you only pay when somebody clicks on your ad um these uh, these platforms are keyword based and it is even making it cheaper because people come and find your ad because they're looking for something that your ad offers or looking for something that your company offers or that that you set up during the ad so let's just say i'm looking for um for a recycled recycled glass water bottle okay i'm looking for a recycled glass water bottle in google and those companies that are selling those recycled glass water bottle will be showing up uh on google for me because that's what i looked for and if i am interested in purchasing something i'm going to click on some of the some of those options because it just puts the thing that i'm looking for in front of me immediately and that's that's very very cool so you're offering something that people are already searching for anyway you're just making it easier for them to find you by coming up paying for those ads and coming up in the search results um as I mentioned, it's easier to get people with a specific interest to click because they are already looking for that specific thing. And people have an intent when searching and finding specific ads. So that's the same thing that I mentioned. So you need to know exactly what your users are typing in. And this is where keyword research comes in. If you're running search engine ads, you need to know what keywords, what, what are users typing in to find products like yours? when we are talking about Groove, it could be funnel builder, it could be email marketing service, it could be e-commerce platform, it could be anything. But in case you're promoting a Groove car specifically, then you need to know the keywords when they're searching for platforms like Groove Cart. Um, e-commerce platform, shopping cart platform, uh, shopping cart software, uh, shopping cart uh, sales platform, some things like these, if you want to promote, Groove car specifically, then you need to know what people are looking for when they're looking for a platform like Groove Cart. And then you can run ads for those keywords exactly. Okay, here the same actions apply. Uh, create, uh, create action based interesting headlines and descriptions. Uh, offer value in advance like freebies or bonuses or gifts and things like that. Your opt in page comes in very handy here get them to sign up to your email list that's the dot over here a model what others are doing on the specific platform you selected again the same same thing look for at least 10 ads on the platform you want to promote on analyze the ads create your uh, yours based on theirs and do not copy them just model them so let me just show you what what i would do if i would run search engine ads again there are other platforms google bing um there are other search engines like that but you could also look into youtube and pinterest and just type in different um different keywords and see how the ads show up so let's just type in uh groove groove funnels groove funnels okay so here are ads for groove funnels so you can see that this is an ad because it says add here and add here and add here so these are three platforms that are showing up whenever somebody types in groove funnels now groove.cm forward slash funnels that's basically us here at groove and also this one 
that's because we uh, we are paying whenever somebody types in group funnels we want to come up as the first one that's basic somebody searching for us i want to show up as a first one that's why we're paying for it uh, there are other competitors that are promoting also on the keyword group funnels they they want to kind of show up as an alternative for for people that search for group funnels get responses showing up here as an ad as well but let's just see what it sh what it shows when we type in groove cart we have Fiverr over here showing uh, GrooveCart services. We have ourselves. We have GrooveCart. We also have Shopify. So there's a competitor actually looking for our uh, our keywords and kind of trying to to steal the people looking for GrooveCart. They want to they want to steal those people over. So here's what you need to do. You need to find the keywords that people are looking for in order to. Uh, to promote things for them so let's just see a groove blog let's just see if there is somebody okay so groove blog there is nobody running ads for this keyword so you could write about groove blog itself you could run ads about groove blog but you need to know if it is searched or not so you need to have kind of a keyword research how many people are searching for that approximately and that you do in the actual platform specific uh um the sp specific tools when you're setting up the ads so in google you are going to go to google ads and where whenever you're setting up these ads is going to tell you okay for the keyword search groove blog there is x amount of people looking for it every day every week every month so you can see if it is if it is good enough for you then you can run ads based on those uh, on those keywords you can do the same thing on youtube you can do the same thing on um on pinterest as well let me just show you pinterest so if i type in um i don't know uh, birthday cakes let's just see if we get any kind of promotions the promotions will show up as sponsored let's just see if we get any kind of sponsored ads on here Let's zoom out it's going to say that it's sponsored if it actually shows up so let's just see i'm not seeing anyone that is sponsored on the search term birthday cakes let's just see on something more um email marketing software okay email marketing software i'm pretty confident that there will be a couple of platforms promoting uh sponsored ads on here so let's just see um, in certain cases it shows it that it's sponsored but it's in certain cases it just hides the fact that it's sponsored so let's just see if i can find something maybe on the home page I just want to show you one of those sponsored type of posts. Sometimes there's tons of them. Sometimes it's just not showing up. Let me see if I can show you just an image. Interest sponsored pins. Okay. So you can see that it's showing up like that. Let me see if I can zoom in. Okay, so it's going to be showing up the images as normal, and then it says it here promoted by this or this company. So they are looking for uh, throw pillow, and they are promoting something on the topic of of thrown. Uh, throw pillow so as you can see here these are product specific uh specific ads that are being done by companies like this one over here so you could use also pinterest in order to find uh people clicking on your uh, on your ads so in my in my example over here i didn't find or maybe i skipped over some but that's how it shows up anyway so when you're doing keywords uh, or search engine ads, you need to find keywords that convert. And uh, 
on based on that you're actually going to uh, going to be able to to run search engines so again have a look at 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 least 10 different ads in case you're running search engine uh, search engine ads have a look at 10 of them analyze them and then try to create copy based on 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 those 10 different ads again if you're looking for for running search engine ads you can um, you can explore more through different YouTube videos you can also go and, and see some of the courses on Udemy or maybe specific courses from 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 people on this topic these are huge topics that basically workshops are being done and if you don't necessarily want to learn how to run these uh, then you can then you can just hire an agency in order to do this but running paid ads is one of the most profitable things that you could do um, that you could learn in in promotions so Let's just continue with the next type of ads or the next type of platform, and that is community platforms. These are very, very similar to social media platforms. Um, basically, you set up different ads, and it's going to show up in in different uh, places like Quora or or forums or Reddit on on different places. So these are not f keyword specific ads. These are just basically ad going to be thrown all over the the platform and then um, and then it's it's again a pay-per-view type of thing so you can use the content-based ads to share helpful info again community platforms like uh quora reddit and niche specific forums they don't like affiliate links uh they uh, they have a lot of success when you're actually going uh, going on these platforms and providing helpful information through your advertisement uh, that's that's what works and you could also offer value in advance through freebies bonuses gifts and things like that basically if, if you use your opt-in page that you set up with a freebie offered on it that's going to work beautifully create action-based interesting headlines and descriptions to capture the attention and um, get them to sign up to your email list definitely model what others are doing again 10 ads analyze those ads create uh, create your ads based on them do not copy but model so um, community platforms like quora i'm going to just show you how how it looks like quora.com they are running different ads when you when you come it's basically showing up as a feed over here you can see a sponsored ad high quality content writing looking for freelance writers yada yada they have an image and if you click on this one then you go over to the place uh, which they are promoting so it's showing up as a social media ads exactly there's nothing nothing fancy for example forge of empires there's a sponsored ad or basically a an ad that is running on Quora. It's very similar to social media ads. I just see very quickly Reddit. Reddit is doing very similar things. Um, so when you're searching through, they're going to show uh, sponsored sponsored Reddits or a sponsored post. Sometimes just thrown it here. Here it is. So new simple pricing European stock, yada yada, interactive brokers. It's a promoted reddit um reddit post it looks it needs to look very similar to the other posts over here in, in order to work so as you can see desperate afghan da 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 it has 91.7k uh upvotes and, and things like that so if your ad on these platforms kind of matches the content um uh, the native content that is being uh, shared and clicked on there then your ads will have success so just have a look what others are doing what other posts look like and just try to do something similar so and that's what it what others are doing on here let me see if i can find another sponsored ad there you go so you turning.com here's a sponsored ad it it looks like something that kind of fits the content over here and that's why people would be able to just very simply click on it and head over to the to the thing that is being promoted um again it is normally run like social media uh platforms is just on these community-based platforms and that's kind of it these are the these are the 
paid ad methods that I wanted to talk about. There are social media ads, uh, search engine ads, and community ads that you could use. If you want to run some of these, then definitely look at a couple of different YouTube videos. If you can also maybe just go out there and try it yourself, but it's definitely suggested if you learn a little bit more about those. Just uh, watching a couple of new up-to-date videos is going to set you up uh, for with the knowledge that you need in order to know where to click and how to set these up. Normally, all of them work the same way. Find the audience know either your keywords or know either the interest that you want to target and then just pay money in order to show your ad on different on different places for them again i need to mention one more time don't get emotional you need to calculate in that you will need to do testing testing different variations of ads testing different creatives in one ad you put in um videos in, in one ad you put in uh, an image in in this one ad set you're you're actually targeting uh people that read a certain book on a niche that you did in in this topic they are following a certain person on the niche that you're actually uh promoting to so do different versions do different variations see what works and then just run more of that so that's the basically gist of paid ads in short so moving on we are doing retargeting retargeting goes hand in hand with paid ads hopefully this uh this helps in understanding what retargeting is for those of you that may not know so in this video we're going to talk about retargeting retargeting is something that a lot of people that run uh, paid ads do and it helps them even more specific uh, it helps them specify even more the different uh, different audiences. So let me just give you an example of what retargeting could be used for. Let's just say that you are running an ad where you are promoting Groove, for example, just a basic image with some basic call to action. Sign up here, get my bonus, and then you can get a, a software. That's your kind of paid ad. And then you put in a Facebook pixel or you put in some sort of a system to, to track those people that clicked over and that's used for retargeting. Now you know that somebody clicked over onto your, um, onto your page, but then you can track if somebody signed up already or somebody didn't sign up yet. So you can now send, uh, send an ad to those people that signed up and get them to upgrade, okay? because you know that they signed up through your page, through your link, they activated this pixel, and now you can get them to actually upgrade because you know that they signed up, but they didn't upgrade yet. That's one way to promote using retargeting. And the other way is to actually know that they didn't sign up yet, so you can target them and then try to get them to sign up again using this retargeting. So retargeting is just sending people to an interact uh, that interacted with you and your ad uh, already, to another ad to get them to do a certain action. So somebody saw your ad, clicked on it, or, or went through the, the actual ad. They did the action or they didn't do the action. You can now get them to do an action based on, uh, based on, on the action that they actually visited it previously. So retargeting is useful because it usually is cheaper than uh, just promoting to cold audiences. Here, you can specifically say, okay, John Malkovich clicked on my ad. So send John Mal Malkovich another ad, which is much cheaper for Facebook. It doesn't have to find the different people and kind of show, show it to everybody. It can just focus the money that you're paying to show, show John Malkovich that specific ad. Uh, people already know about you and your offer. That's because they already interacted with you and your offer. So once you do this retargeting type of ad, you show them another ad because they already interacted with you previously. They know about you. They know about your offer. So it's easier to communicate with them on a more specific language. You're not strangers. You're kind of acquaintances in some sort of way. Um, you know uh, about them that they had interest in clicking on something that you were offering and they uh, they know about you that you are the person actually offering a certain thing and you can up the value and get people to act because you're you're consistent you want to get them 
uh, your bonuses you want to get them your help you want to get them uh, this uh, this retargeting and even if you if you didn't manage to get them to sign up you can now play along okay now if you sign up I'm going to give you this and this and this uh, they signed up didn't take action but you can now communicate with them again in order to take action with uh, with your bonuses so you can up the value to get people to act there are two options as I mentioned you can target people who purchased or that basically that signed up and you can target people who didn't purchase yet or who didn't sign up yet so these are the different uh, options uh, to do retargeting based on these and Groove is one of the platforms that allows you to actually use pixels with affiliate marketing whenever you're doing affiliate marketing in any other platform you're not going to be able to use pixels but in, with Groove you can and I'm going to show you how to do that exactly you can see uh, on my screen over here we have uh, the ability to tag or actually pixel signups and buyers so let me just show you how to do that and where to set it up so if we head over to groove and we come over to groove affiliate in groove affiliate you remember where we were setting up our promos so click promos and you choose uh, Groove, and you can also set it up for Groove.cm. Both of these, you click on the plug icon on the on the last icon here, and then you have a tracking code. So the tracking code is where you actually paste the pixel. You paste this little piece of code that just tags the people that either clicked on you, that signed up for a trial, that signed up for a, a GrooveFunnels free account or that those that actually got the lifetime upgrade so you can do different type of pixels which tag the free signups that tag the paid signups and you can control that over here uh, over here in groove affiliate uh, bonus integrations here so it's very simple to set up it's literally just copy pasting a piece of code from your uh, from your desired uh, social media or search engine platform and pasting this code inside here in, in your Groove Affiliate promos in this little plug. So that allows you to actually do retargeting based on a certain action. Somebody signed up to a free account but didn't purchase yet, then you can send them another ad like, hey, or let's just say, hey, girl, I saw that you signed up but didn't purchase yet. Here's what I can do for you. If you actually sign up with my link, if you click just here on this ad, uh, you're going to get my bonuses let me just explain what my bonuses are so I have a bonus this is a checklist of doing this this is a, a course this is a this this is a template da, 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 da. so you can do these retargeting uh, based on a certain action you want them to upgrade and there you can use these um, retargetings in order to kind of show an ad in front of them um, on their on their device so that you can promote to them and get them to sign up for a paid account so that's retargeting in short hopefully now you understand how you could do that with groove it is not very very hard and complex to do it it's just copying pasting a pixel code from your platform that you're running ads on and uh, that will allow you to kind of like laser target and communicate with those people better that already did a certain action on your on your assets so that's retargeting okay so we're going over to organic social media this is uh something that everybody knows about but i'm just going to kind of put more emphasis on these so in this video we're going to talk about organic social media post and how you could use it in order to to run kind of traffic over to your links and your pages so when we're talking about social media uh, social media uh, we're talking about facebook and and TikTok and instagram and things like that and these platforms work through engagement so you need to kind of communicate with others you need to post you need to have people comment you need to like they need to like and basically it's based engagement on social media so there's a couple of different ways you post regularly and you are known for your post you post either images you post articles you post about things that help others and you become known and an authority of some sort um, 
in certain groups on Facebook, in certain groups on forums, in certain uh, in certain platforms, and people follow you because of your knowledge, because of your posts, and this way you can actually get them to act when they are listening to you. You can also comment on other people's content, and this is normally uh, by providing feedback. When somebody is asking questions, if you're the person that comments and gets them the, the quickest, shortest uh, solution, they will be listening to you. And this, this type of interaction is something that, that you can use in order to get free traffic over to your, to your um, opt-in pages, offer pages, bridge pages, links, and things like that. Just using trust because you helped somebody already you can get people to do certain actions based on uh based on your needs and then you can do the third option which i don't suggest to do a lot is that you contact others privately and connect that way again this is not purely for spamming this is just communication so you can you can kind of uh find a friend uh, in, in a certain niche or a certain industry as you are in. So whenever I, I say contact somebody privately, I mean write a message on a messenger or DM on Instagram or, or just any kind of DM or email if they're on YouTube. You can contact them privately and connect. Um, but don't connect only because you have something to sell and you want to sell it to them. You connect because you want to kind of create a a friendship, a partnership, a connection so that you can go along together to this journey, not only so that you use them so that they they buy your stuff. Uh, if you do the second thing that I just mentioned, if you use them to buy your stuff, you're just becoming a spammer and nobody likes spammers. You're going to probably be reported and banned pretty quickly. So in case you're contacting somebody, offer help, offer something in advance, offer friendship, offer something that you could do in order to kind of have a, have a long-lasting conversation, have a long-lasting relationship with a person. So whenever you're doing any kind of free social media uh, engagement, creating posts regularly and becoming known for that, commenting on others' posts and become, becoming known for that, or just communicating privately and becoming a great friend. These are the three strategies that work. Everything else really kinds of kind of falls into water because it's 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 based on something that everybody does. Everybody's kind of pushing something to sell and nobody's listening to anyone anymore because it's just it's, spamming is kind of the way people do it now. So if you do it the other way, you're going to be kind of surprising the people and I can tell you immediately one of the best ways to to find friends and communicate with them is by recording short videos. If you actually spend some time a little bit, just record a, a short video reply, not audio reply. Not, and not everybody has time to listen to audios. But if you send a video, people will want to see the video. So just do this. If somebody's asking for how do I change a, a color of a button in group pages, just record a quick short demo, just use Loom or any kind of screen recording. Really, there is tons of them, and most of them are, are, are offering either free options or are for free. Um, just share your screen very quickly. Just just say, okay, if you click here and you you click in the style editor, you choose a certain um, certain color, then you can also put in your hex code. And this way you can just very simply um, change the color of your button. You are going to become that person that needed the help. You're going to be, become their hero. They are going to tag you next time when they need help. You're going to come contact you and you're going to become a person that they rely on. This way you can get them help they then you can become friends and you can uh, get them to do certain actions based on that trust later on so um videos work beautifully even if you don't know the person just just recording a quick video like hey my name is david lemon i just wanted to introduce myself i'm an internet marketer as well i'm just going along with this groove journey i don't really know what i'm doing so in case you want to just kind of communicate just let's explore this together um just reply me back. Thank you.
that's it. Like it doesn't have to be long. Just kind of creating a friend and going along is going to take you a long way. A lot of partnerships have been done that way. Um, also inside the Facebook group of Groove Digital, um, there are a lot of different partnerships where two people kind of go along and uh, just use the resources both of them have in order to do um, affiliate marketing or create their own products and just sell something just because they became friends. So these are the free organic uh, social media options that I would suggest you explore as well. It's Anybody can do that, really just reach out to people, just comment and help and reply, uh, like their posts. And, and it, this way, uh, you can go a long way by finding friends and get people to trust you. OK, so the next thing that we're talking about is an interesting topic, and that's partnerships. Partnerships you could use. Um, quick video reply. I love that tip. Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Video replies go a long way. Whenever I started recording videos, this is where I, when I was when I was seen first time. Whenever I was uh, replying to comments, that was not as powerful uh, as when I actually recorded my first tutorial videos for for the Groove group. Uh, I recorded one video, then people wanted wanted more, wanted more, wanted more. I created more. People even wanted more than that. So it just grew, and I became a training. But the training manager and I just did thousands of videos later on because of that. Uh, this is how I got seen and and that's why I am here right now. So videos help a lot. They 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 just bring in so much trust that it's just like you cannot explain it. One video is is much better than hundred thousand normal regular posts. It's just more authoritative. People kind of see your personality as well. People kind of see if they can trust you or not and and that goes a long way so <clears throat> partnerships <coughs> so in this video we're going to talk about one of the other things that is huge that can bring you a quick win and that's partnerships in case you're trying to promote your affiliate link or affiliate pages doing it with partnerships can go very very long way let me tell you how. Uh, how does that work and why it's this special? So why partnerships? You can get access to a big number of people to market to very, very easily and quickly. It could be a free partnership or a paid partnership, but you have an amazing opportunity to incentivize people to work with you. I'm going to show you a cool, cool way to do that. And it's, I haven't, I don't know if anybody else can, can say that. Uh, you will be able to. People are always looking to make more money, so you could use that. So in case you prefer to go on a free route, you could go and uh, and do one of these options. You could go with podcasts or webinars or social media and YouTube influencers or group owners or forum moderate moderators. So let's just say, let's just take this last option over here, group owners, okay? Just a very small, uh, small option that you could use is just... Have a look at different Facebook groups, see who the group owners are, contact them and ask if you can actually promote, okay? Promote an affiliate link, promote something. Why this is good? Because groups have a certain amount of people in there that are already talking about a topic that topic relevant to a niche, topic relevant to something that you're doing. So in case you're uh, reaching out to group owners, they are the control. They control everything. So you can either give them um, something for free. You can offer them some value yourself, or you can just see if you can pass for free and just, just promote something. Most of the times, they don't like free. But as I mentioned over here, people are always looking to make more money. So you could use that. So let's just say that you now found a, a Facebook group and you offer something in return while they allow you to actually share your affiliate link. You could do, um, you could PayPal them some money. You could uh, get them an Amazon gift voucher. You could do something like that. But let me show you another tool that you have, which is free for you, but you can make money and they can still make money on, on top of that. Let me just show you. It's very, very important that you understand this. So please listen carefully. Head over to 
GrooveJV.com. <clears throat> and and this is an amazing trick that you could that you could do. Okay. So scroll down until you see your promo tools over here. Okay. Click on your links. And here you have your links. But you reach out to a person that has a huge audience maybe not huge but let's just say internet marketing let's just find a group okay internet marketing let's just use this first group 47000 members okay you can go to the about section and see who the admins are mike over here mike klausner is the admin you can reach out to him just by messaging him over here what you could do is just say hey mike um, uh, I am an affiliate marketer, as, as yourself are. I'm trying to uh, I'm trying to promote promote a tool that I'm using myself. I'm getting very very good results for, and I just wanted to see if you would be interested in actually um, actually kind of doing a partnership with me so that uh, we promote this together. And what I offer you is is I believe 20%, uh, yeah, 20% commissions on each and every uh, sale that we do, which is awesome. So you what basically what you need to do is just share a link or share a post in the group so that your people see it and you and me both, we could make money from the signups. Let me show you how that is done. You come over here and you just use my affiliate recruitment link. This is the second tier affiliate link. What this does is Mike from this internet marketing group doesn't actually need to use the software, most probably. But what you could do is get them only to do the promotion. So when you get, get him this link, he actually signs up for the affiliate program. So what he will see is just the JV group and he can, uh, he can log in over here in order to see the affiliate links. And you are going to invite him to be sign up under you, okay? So when he shares his affiliate link, you're going to get second tier commissions on top on that. So you recruit an affiliate directly, not a user of the software. So it says here, affiliate recruitment links point to the page that sells the viewer about the benefit of joining the affiliate program, not the software. This doesn't go to the product sales page. So what this does is you can get Mike or any other group owner, you can contact them and you can get this person to join the affiliate program of Groove and share his link and you will still make money on that. It's 10% of every sign up or every sale, you're going to get 10% of that. 47,000 member you can reach out to as quickly. You don't have to go away for the first tier like the 40% signups, 10% is good enough as well. Believe me, if you get at least 1% of these, it's it's already a good amount of, of uh, commissions. So this is something that you could do. Basically, just find group owners on Facebook, something relevant to your niche, contact them and try to get them either to use the software, which is great, but then get them to join the affiliate program and then mention to them that in case they purchase this, they would be bumped up so then you can get the sale as well. You get the sale and you get also the second tier commissions that the person promotes, which is awesome. It's a next level thinking. It's kind of the, the second level thinking if you, if you think about that. So um, when you're going on webinars in order to promote, you're probably promoting it the same way as well. The person that allowed you to come on the webinar, you can just invite them as well and get this second tier affiliate link you get them those the person that has a, a contact base and you want to uh, you want to promote to to their list of people you get them to sign up you get them kind of a partnership with the groove affiliate link and you earn second tier commissions from everything that uh, uh, that you both make they get 20% because they are most probably on the free level. You can get them to upgrade. So they will get 40% and you would get you would get 10% because you're most probably uh, 
a paid member as well so that's a next level thinking affiliate uh, a second tier affiliate uh, link is very powerful as well and that's why we have it in the promo tools so recruit affiliates directly not recruit users of the software <clears throat> and that's how you could do it through these partnerships you could also reach out to social media and YouTube influencers. You can tell them the same thing. Like, hey, I saw you have a great following for uh, for this dentist niche. Let me tell you, I'm doing actually uh, a promotion. I have a software that I'm using. I'm making great progress with it. Uh, if you want, we can get into a partnership. Oh, I signed you up. And then when you share your link, you would get 20% of the commissions and I would get 10% commissions. You're not losing anything. I'm not losing anything. We just basically be, uh, benefit from the contact list that you already have. You make more money than I am. Um, it's just a great way to go together. So what do you say? And then you get your affiliate link. You invite them and everybody's happy. So that's just how it works. You get them to upgrade. You would get even that, that money yourself. So that's that's a great way to do it you can do that on podcasts you can do that through webinars social media and youtube influencers group owners and even forum moderators even forum owners or forum moderators you can go on to reddit and see if there are some um, owners of different subreddits you can contact them as well with the same type of deal you can give them and pay them up front some social media influencers ask for money up front. Let's just say, okay, I will promote to my, I don't know, 200,000 Instagram followers. I will promote to them, but pay me $100 up front, and then, and then it's good. It's even better for you. Uh, but reach out and try to do partnerships. You can do it the paid option that you actually give them something straightforward, but you could also go into a partnership where you use your your uh, affiliate recruitment link and then you don't have to pay anything it's just that if somebody signs up and purchases you both make money it's as simple as that so use this it's a very very strong tool that's why we have it you get second tier commissions the person that you brought in with a huge audience gets first tier uh, first tier um affiliate commissions and everybody is is just basically winning this is a very very quick way to do it so the more you reach out to group owners social media youtube influencers the more um the more chances you get you have to actually get um get a, access to these big audiences so definitely do that one it's not hard to do it and it's paying very 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 big rewards afterwards so we explored how to do it make sure you definitely try it out it's it's just contacting others and uh, asking them if they want to to partner up that's it so ladies and gentlemen this was the affiliate action challenge in session number nine and i actually didn't put here the task number nine here we go this is the affiliate action challenge session number nine. We finalized that. So the task for participating in this session is going to be pretty simple based on what we talked about. So brainstorm your option, see what we talked about, explore what we, what we mentioned and write out which ones you could use. The biggest benefit from all of these that I mentioned, you could have with social media ads, Def definitely try those ones if you don't if you know how to use them if you don't know just learn a little bit about those go on to youtube just see um bing ads or google ads or or facebook ads or something and just try and see uh try and see how it works and just just do a little bit of promotions to to those paid ads um and the other one is this partnerships method. The, through your second tier affiliate link, you could get huge, huge, huge uh, numbers of people uh, sign up through through you, through your link, um, if you use the two options I mentioned earlier. Use the methods that are that you are kind of already doing. So in case you're already in Facebook groups, if you're already in different forums, if you're already in some Reddits, if you're talking to podcasts, if you're talking to uh, webinar people with webinars, just 
try and do one of these options if you're doing um, paid ads already just just run them and uh, promote groove in order to get those affiliate sales think about which of these could make the biggest impact for your promo campaign as i mentioned the partnerships and the paid ads are in my opinion the best options to go with if you're going with paid ads explore these options as much as you can as i mentioned have a look on youtube learn more about about the different options for uh for social media or search engine ads or community different uh, community ads and forum ads and uh just type in how to do facebook ads 2021 um, look for the most relevant content like the newest one because these paid options are changing very frequently so learn more about those and then put it to action once you've explored what you could do once you learned put it to action use the methods from the session and definitely make sure you you do it because these are not hard things to do running social media ads is is simpler than ever before just a couple of quicks you uh, clicks you can have ads shown to thousands of people and also just reaching out to people um helping them and and doing partnerships is just a, a quick win method uh, go out and contact as many of niche specific group owners as you possibly can that's what i talked about um and just see if they would be interested if you could buy a slot so that you actually share your affiliate link or if they are not interested in that then maybe try and get them the second tier link second tier link and try to get kind of a partnership with them definitely do the organic social media methods to reach out and help as many people as possible um that's going to get you friends that's going to get you kind of partnerships in terms of you don't have to go at it alone you can have somebody to, to communicate with and and um, like bounce ideas off um, so organic social media methods are also very very powerful and then show it off in the JV group once you do it just make sure that you kind of tell us about it uh because based on that we're going to be selecting the the winners of the challenge so if you are not here yet on this level that you actually run these ads or reach out to these people then just just try and brainstorm and ask for help you could get help from others in a jv group and we can help you kind of do the next steps but try to not be emotional about these like oh my god what will those group owners tell me if i reach out to them and ask them you have nothing to lose you have only things to gain there was not nobody is going to block you nobody's going to do anything just try and reach out to as many people as you can uh, if you need help with paid ads you can also reach out to people in the jv group there will be people that that can run the ads for you and it's just a win-win for everybody so don't be afraid just do the tasks and show it off we can help you even more so these are the tasks for the session number nine hopefully you uh hopefully you like this session hopefully you learn a lot from this uh it's going to get you quite a lot of uh, success if you do these certain tasks so that's basically it ladies and gentlemen so this was the session number nine of the affiliate action challenge let's just recap what we did we talked about paid ads different options how how to go about running them what you need to be careful of what is the difference between pay-per-view ads and pay-per-click ads and um and just one is one is the social media ads where you just show as much ads as possible and then hope for the click the other one is that the one is the other one is the search engine as where you kind of promote your link to a the specific group of people that are already looking for something that you're offering and then get them to click on it uh, retargeting is a very powerful as well organic media uh, organic social media uh, re outreach is very powerful just to find like-minded people but the partnerships in my opinion are the, they're the most powerful in here because there are already already big groups of people that are talking about what you're what what you can help them with and just reaching out to those group owners can get you in front of these big audiences fast so that was a session number nine we should start with another affiliate action challenge video 
um, just so that we have it in a sequence. So I'm going to I'm going to wrap this up right now. Go for a quick drink, and I'm going to come back in the next 15 minutes. We're going to start the next affiliate action challenge session number 10. We have a couple of other things to talk about. It's going to be a shorter, a shorter version of this one. We're talking about other paid methods like native solo, native and solo ads, radio, TV, newspapers, and backlinks. We are talking also about giveaways and contests, and also existing contact lists. And after that, we are actually wrapping up with this affiliate action challenge. We went over through everything after this next session. So hopefully, you are going to be joining joining us. Um, yeah, so ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to be wrapping this video up. I'm going to start it again in the next 15 minutes. Let's just go very quickly for a quick drink. I'm going to wrap this video up and then start the new video. It's going to be on YouTube and Facebook, so uh, make sure you you have a look at, the, at those platforms. So thank you very much for, for being here. See you very, very soon.